it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a prom inspired look for you guys and I really love how this look turned out and I had tons of fun filming this video for you guys. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please continue to watch this video. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with a bare face so I'm not wearing any makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin for makeup application. I love using my Nivea Cream Moisturizer. It's my absolute favorite and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I just lightly fill them in and I kind of outline the, well I don't kind of, I outline the bottom of my brows just to extend them a bit so they can look a bit longer. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer that is a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. The concealer that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I believe this is in the shade 3.5. And then I'm going to take my finger and just blend that out. Next I'll be taking Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply this onto my eyelid and this will help to ensure that my eyeshadow lasts all day long, give my eyeshadow something to stick to and also make it look more pigmented. Next I'll be taking the Violet Voss Pearl Eyeshadow Palette, the Holy Grail Palette. You guys this really is the Holy Grail Palette. I am like obsessed with this palette. And the eyeshadow that I'm going to use is called Transition, which is a transition shade. And I'm just going to pop that into the eyelid, well not into the eyelid, into the crease. And I'm going to blend that using my Sigma E40 brush. Next I'll be taking a dark brown eyeshadow. This is Teddy Bear and I'm going to pop that at the outer corner of the eyes in a V-like shape. The brush I'm using is by MAC. I don't really know the number but I'll put it in the description bar down below. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that eyeshadow using the MAC. I believe this is the 221 brush. It's very very precise. And I'm just going to blend the outer corner. Then I'm going to go back into MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply it onto the eyelid just to give my eyeshadow a cleaner look. Next I'll be taking Dose of Color Loose Pigment. This is Shell. It is so gorgeous and it's very sparkly. I'm going to pop it onto the eyelid. I really love these loose pigments by Dose of Colors. However, you do get a little bit of fallout so that is the reason why I'm doing my eyes first and my foundation last. And I'm just going to go back in with my MAC 221 brush and blend that crease color. This brush is really precise like I mentioned before. It really gets into the crease. I love it. Now we're going to move on to liner. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek gel liner. Use any gel liner of your choice. I honestly just grabbed this one because it was like super close to me. And I'm going to take a angle brush. This brush is from Dose of Colors. I'm really loving this brush for my wing liner and also for filling in my brows. And I'm going to go ahead and create a wing liner on the top lash line taking that same angle brush make sure you clean it off first I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the brows I use the benefits brow powder as well to fill in my brows and I also take the spoolie just to brush the product into the brows Next, I'm going to add a bit of glitter to this look. I'm going to use the uh, Makeup Forever Diamond Powder. It's like a whitish silver color, if that makes any sense. And I'm just going to pat it onto the eyelid. I will put the name of it in the description bar down below. And I did have a bit of fallout, so I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite makeup wipes, which is the Neutrogena Wipe, and I'm going to wipe the fallout off. Now we're going to move on to the skin. I already reapplied my moisturizer and primer so we're just going to jump right into color correcting. You don't have to do this if you don't need to. I do have dark circles. I say this all the time and I apply it under my eyes. So I'm using a orange shade concealer and this one is from MAC and I'm just going to apply it under the eyes, sides of my lips because I have a little bit of darkness there and I'm going to take my damp beauty blender sponge to blend the product out. Next, I'm moving on to foundation. You can use whatever foundation works best for you. Today, I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid with my MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation. I mix them together. The Pro Long Wear Foundation is a longer wear and the Studio Fix Fluid has more coverage. And I'm using the shade NC45 and NC44. And I use a damp beauty blender sponge. It's my favorite to apply my foundation with. And I'm just going to pat that, beat that into the skin. Next we're going to move on to highlighting and I'm going to take a concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I believe this is in the shade 3.5 and I'm just going to place this under my eyes and down the center of my forehead, down the nose and my chin area. And I'm going to take my damp beauty blender sponge and blend, blend, blend out that concealer because we're not going to leave it like that. Of course not. 
Moving on to cream contour, I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. This is in the shade medium, so I'm going to take the dark uh, brown shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that throughout my forehead area and the hollows of my cheek. And I'm using a dual fiber brush from NYX. I'm really loving this palette for contouring. I didn't use the lighter shade for my highlight because I felt like it was a little too light for my skin tone and it didn't really offer me as much coverage, but I love the darker shade for contour. Now moving on to my favorite step, I'm going to bake and slay the face. I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and I'm just applying it under my contour and I'm also going to place this in the areas that we've highlighted and I let this sit on my face for about 10-15 minutes. I usually just go ahead and finish my eye and obviously have a dance break. Now I'm going to complete the eye, I'm going to use the LA Girls Gel Eyeliner, this is in black and I'm going to use it to line my waterline. I love using this eye pencil because I find that it does not smudge it's one of my favorite black eye pencils to use and I'm gonna go back into the violet Voss palette and I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow teddy bear and I'm just gonna run it along the bottom lash line make it nice and smoky and dark and go back in with the black eye pencil and of course we're gonna add some mascara to the bottom lashes to add a little drama I completely forgot to mention that I applied falsies I did apply my falsies off camera you guys I lost that clip so now we're gonna move on back to the pigment so we're gonna go back into the loose pigment shell and I'm just gonna pop that right at the inner corner because I want the inner corner of my eyes to be nice sparkly and bright so the eye look is completed. Now we're gonna move on to finishing up the skin. We're gonna grab some bronzer. I'm taking my matte mineralized skin finish, deep dark, and I'm just going to pop that in the hollows of my cheek along my forehead. I like to bronze up the skin, make the contour just a little bit more defined. I'm using a Zoeva defining brush. Really love this brush. And I'm gonna dust away the excess powder because you know you gotta dust it away because you don't need it anymore. However, even though I dust away my powder, I actually had to reapply it because I wasn't really feeling my contour and I had to reapply the powder along my contour because it helps to clean up the contour if that makes any sense so as you can see I do have the powder under my contour and then we're gonna go in for some glow because you know I like to glow and I'm gonna use my makeup forever sculpting duo in the shade uh, I believe this is the gold one I love it I'm gonna apply it on the highest point of my cheek down my nose and on my cupid's bow as well taking one of my go-to lip pencils I probably use this all the time I think I've been using it quite a lot this is the matte cork lip pencil one of my favorite I'm just lining my lips with it and then I'm gonna take um, velvet 59 lipstick Ooh, guys I'm sorry I made that face I'm just not a fan of pink lipstick on me I don't know why but now it's starting to look better once I blend it in with the uh, lip pencil and the lipstick is called pink pipeline and then I'm gonna take a clear gloss this lip gloss is from motives cosmetics and I'm just going to apply that onto the lips and because I wanted more glow because I want you to be able to see my glow from afar I'm gonna use my Laura Geller gilded honey highlighter I haven't used it forever I forgot how freaking insane glowing this is and I'm just gonna pop that onto the highest point of my cheekbones and of course I'm gonna dust away all that excess powder and the look is pretty much completed but we gotta set our makeup because we want it to last all night long so I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Set In Spray I'm just gonna apply it all over it's gonna get rid of the powdery look and it's gonna set the makeup and that is pretty much it you guys that is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you do comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you in another video very very soon I love you guys bye